Yes, I'm Chris Hepburn. I'm with Only SP, and I'm here at EGLX, and I bring you John, the producer of One Finger Death Punch 2. Hello. So, what made you want to make a sequel after the first one? Uh, the first one was never fleshed out. Um, it was a product of his time. We were making it for Xbox Live Indie Games. Okay. And we just had no money to finish it, and we had to just release it. And then when it was so successful, we were thinking, oh man, you know what, like it could have been way better. Yeah. And over the years, a bunch of people have tried to uh, do their own iterations of One Figure Death Punch, okay. and, it, and none of them ever worked out. And we said, you know what, no one can do it right, let's, let's do one more shot at it. Okay. And that's why we made it. That's awesome. Yeah, like I tried the game and it, it feels really fluid and you have like all these crazy kung fu moves and like the graphics in the background, which even for someone that's not playing it, it it's a visual treat, which is nice. I'm hoping. I'm hoping that translates on Twitch and YouTube. They're like, yeah. oh, that actually is fun, fun to, to, yeah. to view, yeah. Yeah, so like you guys went with Stickman to incorporate a lot of move sets and stuff, right? Totally. Yeah. So what kind of stuff are you drawing inspiration from? Like I assume kung fu movies, but do you go like anime? No, too? no, not really. It's just kung fu movies. Like uh, the last scene from the film The One with Jet Li, okay. he's on top of this prison, and well, the evil Jet Li. There's only two left, and he's on top of prison, and all these prisoners are swarming him from all sides, and he's okay. taking them all down. And that's kind of the principle of one versus the many came yeah. from. Also, there's that. Is it? Is it? Uh, oh, is that one Bruce Lee movie where he takes on a whole dojo by himself? I forget the name of it now. This is crazy, but. Uh, that also is okay, and a lot of the idol animations and, and different kind of like things that from all kinds of movies like Ender the Dragon, Bloodsport, and yeah, okay. all the in inspirations that come from right. movies. I, I need to ask because like this is one of my favorite like martial arts movies, The Raid, Redemption. Did you look at that one? Oh, I know. I, need, so I think it's on. I think it's on Netflix. It is I one too. It's I haven't seen it yet. And I have seen a lot of them. Craft. I know. I, I, I oh, hear that. So Actually, I watched the beginning of it and never finished it. I feel uh, bad, but, but I will now that you're saying okay, that. Okay. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm happy. I'm happy. <laughs> I feel bad now. Cool. So I noticed like there's a lot of stick man. They all have like different apparel and colors. Are we going to be able to see like some different type of characters, maybe bigger guys, maybe some zombies no. for like special modes? No. Yeah, no. But, and the reason is, is because there's over a thousand different moves. Every character has a thousand different moves. So if I, had, if I had a different, I know, and that's actually what makes it kung fu like. Because if you're just doing like four different punches and four different kicks, it's going to it look repetitive. Yeah, but this is like all the time. You're like, what is going on? Yeah. And if you had a different character, he wouldn't be able to share the same moves. You, uh, the good guy, your your cent the guy in the center, is the same as the bad guy. Oh, okay. And therefore, all the moves can can be one. Oh, and that's why we don't okay. have any styles this time around. Because if you had a style with like 20 different moves and pick a style, well, you're stuck with those 20 moves. We actually just took every style possible and just jumped, uh, jumbled it all together, oh, one okay. giant. Okay, that, that makes sense. It gives you a much more fluid and much more variety. Oh, totally. So it's not boring watching yeah. it. Yeah, there's a lot of yeah. stuff that can go on. Yeah, like I remember like he did a combo and then like blood started spewing everywhere. Uh, dragon punches and stuff. Oh, it, was, it looked really Yeah, yeah, cool. yeah, dragon uppercuts and things. Yeah. <laughs> Weird little, like, yeah. yeah. Actually, the game does some unique things. Like, when you do a dragon uppercut, the guy will be spinning. Of course, it's, it's, it's every button press matters and at any time. So you can just cut that in midair and move on to the next move. Yeah. And not a lot of the game can do that. And that's how, like, what's cool about the game is that there's four enemies in a row. You can fight them, uh, like, four hits in a row within one millisecond if you want to go ba -da -da. Yeah. and it, 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 it will do that and it's interesting to be able to be in a complicated dragon uppercut in midair and just transition seamlessly into the next move instantly and that's yeah. uh, that's one of the the appeals of our game I think yeah it's like really snappy you feel totally really into it. Yeah, it's super snappy immersed. yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm hoping it is at least <laughs> how'd you guys come up with the whole two button combat system like but even like with one figure death punch the first one like what was the overall thing that made you come to this conclusion other than Kung Fu movies? Well, our first iteration of the game was called Your Kung Fu Is Not Strong. And we built a game with, <laughs> with four buttons that were the four buttons on a controller. Okay. And it's clunky, it was hard to, to, to play, and we had all of our friends play, and they all kind of, uh, and we literally deleted it and started from, from scratch. And we realized, okay, the more buttons you're adding in, the, the slower the gameplay, the clunkier it all ends up being. And we experimented with one button once. Oh, yeah? And, which is weird. You know, one button just had one zone. And if anyone's in the zone, he'll just attack the closest enemy in the zone. A little too easy. 
But anyways, we, we, we came down to two buttons, and we tried things like a third button for like special time slow event and stuff. Oh, okay. But every time you do that, every time you add that third button in, it when you go to press it, it just messes you up. Uh, and what happens is if you're adding in some more stuff, you just have to slow the game down to make it fair. Yeah. Next thing you know, it feels like any other brawler. Oh, but okay. our goal was like, how fast can we make this thing? And oh, yeah. honestly, the, the two button combination, Though it made it so easy that you could, uh, oh, is the game easy? No, because you just ramp up the speed. Yeah. And it really made it crazy. Okay. So, because of speed, would you say someone that's really good at Guitar Hero Rock Band would enjoy this game? Probably. Like, you see those, like, oh, you know, like those videos from, like, 10 years ago who had their headset. Yeah. I mean, sorry, they were, they were blindfolded, and they're playing, and they're, yeah, yeah, all that stuff. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's not rhythm-related, though. Yeah. Um, because... But it has that speed functionality. It too. does. It yeah. does. Yeah. Yeah, people often think, oh, it's a rhythm game, because they, they see the hit bars below the players, and then they come in, they hit. But the character in the middle will move. Yeah. And if you move, it'll throw off all the rhythm of any song, right? And, that, and that's why it doesn't work at all. Okay, yeah, um, I'm, I'm guilty of that. Like, when I was looking at it before, I'm like, oh, this is a rhythm game? I can't do rhythm games like Guitar Hero and Terra. Yeah. Like, I just got rid of my guitar. I'm like, I'm not playing that again. I'm bad. <laughs> so, yeah, if, if, if the character didn't move in, in the middle, it actually would be a rhythm game. Yeah. And there is some games, some game on Steam, um, I think it was inspired by the first one for your death, death Punch, that is a fighting rhythm game. And the, okay. the character doesn't move, and that's how it works. Okay. But uh, I find what, for the Kung Fu, like, you need the character to move a bit because it yeah. actually looks natural. Yeah, especially when he's, like, doing the Bruce Lee dive kick or something. Oh, like, totally. He needs to go through the air. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's right. We do have that move, yeah. yeah. So I noticed you get, like, a lot of, like, really cool art pieces. Like, when you do the final hit, you get, like, this big, cool art piece of, like, someone doing, like, a crazy punch or, like, yeah. the background shakes and stuff falls down. What was a lot of inspiration for that? Was that just to add more flair or was there something that directly inspired that? Um, I wanted to look cool and we couldn't do like cool animation that's like an animated guy. It was just too much to load in and maybe we're doing it wrong. So we'll do a single f illustration and make it as detailed as possible. Also, uh, we wanted everything around the stick man to look as pretty as possible because I was worried about people judging a book by his cover and they see a stick man and they go, I don't know, two buttons, a stick man, eight dollars probably will sell it for. It, oh, come on, is yeah. it worth eight dollars? So he wanted to look really pretty. Like, no, it really is. Don't judge book by its cover. There's a lot of cool stuff in yeah. here. It's got a lot of but visual flair. Like, how do you it. sell that in a screenshot? One cool thing about like having those big art pieces that show up was it feels like the characters like taking the essence of like an old Kung Fu master with that punch. He ends with the punch and there's that big thing up there with the punch. And she's like, that's how I picture my character right now. It's like he's He's got that essence of the big Kung Fu master he's, he's bringing in for the fight, which is really cool. And that's how I, that's kind of how like I take it in with the big art pieces. Yeah, yeah, I, I saw someone playing and they were like, oh, it's like all, all the styles. When it, like, like, it comes in, wham, and then some yeah. other wham, and then wham, and like, oh, those are the styles. It's not really the styles. In fact, um, when I had an artist do this, he'd come up with like three sketches. And I always took the weirdest one. That's why there's like a dude with like a robot arm, and a dude that's like, <laughs> His body is like 40 times larger than his head because it's just all muscle. And yeah, whatever was the weirdest. And I thought, you know what? Because I don't, what I don't want is the traditional bald Shaolin master yeah. all over my game. A thousand bald guys looking, you know, in their robes. Yeah. Uh, I wanted whatever it can be that's, that's crazy and cool. Yeah, no, like, we, we understand what that is, but like, let's have some flair. Let's not make it look super generic, you know? Totally, because like, what's Kung Fu? It's like Shaolin Temple with the, yeah. but I was like, no, it doesn't have to be that way. Let's, let's go nuts with it. Yeah, like, if you look at modern movies, like, the Kung Fu masters are like police officers or yeah, some cybernetic so robot in some cases. They are. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, and, and we have 28, uh, sorry, 26 skills in, in the game and when a skill goes off, you'll get a little, okay. like a, like a image like that, like a guy will come out. Okay. It's kind of animated, but all of those are super weird too. Oh, that's awesome. So, yeah, it's, it's not shown um, today, but, uh, okay. but they're in there. Cool. So, was One Figure Death Punch that big of a success? Because you guys are hosting a competition here for $1,000. Like, what was the inspiration behind that? Um, what made you guys want to do that? I don't know. Uh, it wasn't that big of a success. It, it, it was okay. okay. Um, I think it was it was good for its time back in 2014 yeah. when it first came out. It doesn't sell anything now. But, uh, Damn, it was 2014? Yeah, it was a long time ago. We worked on this game for 
well, it'll, it'll be five years when it comes out. Oh, wow. Uh, I know, very long time. Um, but uh, we need to do all the porting and a lot of boring work that's really painful okay. uh, between now and April to finish the game. And we kind of wanted like one cool moment to just enjoy it. Yeah. And that's why we want to do this, this tournament. Uh, yeah. And just have like like a cool booth setup, even though it's probably can't really afford it and probably shouldn't. <laughs> um, but maybe that'll that'll help us uh, get inspired to finish all the difficult stuff that isn't related to anything fun in game game design at all. Yeah, no, I get that. And plus, with Canada Cup going on, there's like three tournament screens up there. No, it's two tournament screens for Canada Cup, and then there's like West G tournament. Yeah, and you're like right beside them, so it's like I know, this I thought, whole fight game the all around. To, yeah, totally. So I thought, okay. If, if we're ever going to do it, and who knows, uh, this game may never sell, and that will be the end of us. If it fails, we spent everything doing it. Um, but let's have one cool. Yeah. yeah, we're hoping to go to PAX East. Okay. And that that will be our last show. Okay. But uh, this, and we're from Toronto, so I was like, you oh, know that's what? Awesome. Let's let's make a go at it in our hometown. Yeah. And all of our families come. Uh, sorry, came to see us, and that that's was awesome. fun. So yeah, that that contributed to having a cool booth. That's awesome. This time Congrats, around. guys. Thank you. Yeah. So you were saying earlier that it's just you and your brother working on this, or like, yeah. who's the full team? It's just my brother and I. Really? Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, we're working on the game, but we do hire a lot of artists using Upwork.com, which is oh, okay. online yeah. and find a freelance artist, and from all over doing just little jobs here and there. And they've been working, you know, pieces of it for the last four years on artwork. And the game is, is actually a, a, a pretty mismatched artwork yeah. styles from all these different artists. Okay. But you don't really notice because, well, I don't know, at least no one I've ever seen noticed it. Yeah. Because the stickmans, you, you kind of focus on them and you don't realize that, oh, the background's different than the UI and, and this is totally different than this. And, and those, those spirit attack guys that yeah. come out are totally drawn by a different guy. They're all okay. kind of the same style, but actually they're all done by different people. Oh, wow. Yeah, I guess was like the chaos of fighting yeah. loses it with the chaos of the background. It kind of all melts together in a totally. way. Totally. Which organized chaos. Which is uh, relevant because in the first game, I we had some guys do the backgrounds, but I did the buildings, oh, and there was an obvious difference. And some people were saying like, "What was it? What was the buildings done in Microsoft Paint?" And you know, oh. like there was you know the usual comments you get. And they're right. It was a clear mismatch, and it was like kind of ugly looking. But it was the best we could do back then. Yeah. But uh, this time around, it's a mismatch, but no one seems to notice. Which is nice. Yeah, but at least you're you're growing from it. Oh, totally. Yeah. What's the time? Awesome. So what? What? The, so what was some of your inspiration with bringing in the weapon systems and stuff like that? Because you have like deflecting attacks and grabbing weapons and using them. And you even have like a brawler mode where it's like you combo and dodge and do all that. Was that to add a bit more depth or just visual flair, or was that just to embrace kung fu even more? Um, well, honestly, we're like, how are we gonna have the audience not be like, oh, I've done this before, you know, two button game, cool, neat, but like, what's new? And we, it's really hard to add things to this game because every everything in the game can happen at once. Yeah, we're talking about the thousand moves all happen at you know at any time. Yeah. Well, the problem with that is when I add one thing to the game, it kind of breaks everything in the game. It's not like oh, I add one thing to level two and it just breaks level two. But the rest of the game's okay. No, it breaks everything. So we wanted to add as much as possible, and we kind of just capped out with our physical ability. Um, how you know? I think one of the coolest things we've added in is deflecting projectiles and dodging projectiles because okay. it really influences the game. Like when I deflect a projectile, it'll come back and hit the guy. Yes. And when I dodge it, it'll kill the guy behind me. And now I have to think about that because I have to dodge and then I have to not hit that guy because he's going to get killed already. Because oh. I don't want to kill him and then miss. Oh, or when I deflect a projectile, I don't want to attack the guy's heading towards because I'll end up missing because the projectile will kill him and there'll be nobody there. Okay. So there's a lot of. Uh, gameplay that around that, but uh, it, it doesn't come off right away, which is unfortunate. Now, bugs and glitches are a hallmark of game design and development. What was like the weirdest glitch you guys encountered because you have a thousand animations oh, going on? Like, um, yeah, you can pick up objects. Uh, you can pick up weapons, of course. And then we yeah. said, okay, let's be able to pick up like little objects, like a basket or or a bin or whatever. And there's some states have those objects, but. There was some glitch where you could pick up a building and fight with it. <laughs> and yeah, we were like, okay, we better not actually, you know, I was like, oh, maybe we, 
we, we make that really rare. Wouldn't that be cool to pick a building once in a while and be like, oh my god, a building! Well, as you can't, because like the pillars that are attached to the building that break, like mess everything up. So you can't actually do that easily without wrecking the entire game. But that was the funniest thing to see. Okay, I'm picturing like some injustice, like God's Among Us thing, where you just like pick some grass and building and whips it down. Yeah, well, takes out well line. that would be a, a million times cooler than just yeah, it's just a flat building you pick up and kind of just like a folding big paper, you know? Yeah, bam, bam, yeah, yeah, way less cool than what you're thinking. Uh, but but that yeah, that no, was that's the weirdest part. Really it's like I'm the Hulk. <laughs> I win. <laughs> exactly. So it's been a pleasure, and thank you so much for uh, taking time to talk to me. I appreciate it. Um, what systems will the game be coming to for sure? Uh, no Xbox, one. PlayStation 4, and Nintendo Switch. Awesome. And uh, Steam. Great. Are, are you looking at maybe a mobile port? Like maybe a toned down one? Because I feel like that's the, like a perfect elevator game. Yeah, it's possible. If it uh, is successful in some, some capacity, then uh, we'll look at that and, and, and see. The first game had a mobile port. Oh, yeah? And, I got to uh, that. Yeah. Uh, so we'll we'll see how that goes, but really it, it, it depends on the success of of the console and and, yeah. and and PC. Honestly, like I know I'll be picking it up because I get home and I'm like I got eight minutes or like ten minutes before I have to go out. I don't want to watch ten minutes of some random show. Throw that That's, on. Yeah, that is ideas idea. And be like, all right, cool, I'm good. Yeah. You know? And then go out and do my thing. So. That's why we have like no no story, and I'm trying to keep the loading time as quick as possible. So yeah. You just get in and get out. Yeah. 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 That yeah. is that, that is that is the idea behind the game. It, I didn't want it to be judged as this giant thing. I wanted it to, to be judged as, as a palate cleanser, a yeah. filler um, yeah, to other sense. games. Yeah. yeah.